Let's see how to create a facial mocap markerless facial mocap using Avatary software. Important thing to notice is by the time I'm recording this, the version, you have two versions. You have an English version, you have a Chinese version. The English version is actually in 1.4.1, 1 1.42. 1 this version doesn't have the add-on to use with Blender. To get it right now, you must change to Chinese and then you go to the download. You get the version 1.61. This version got the add on for Blender 2.83 and 2.93. You download, install it, and then you have this screen. With this screen, you will have to load the video you record the video first then you go to this part the tracker within the tracker let's see within the tracker you go to the menu new go to the folder where you have your footage in my case i gotta rotate it you can use a previous version of uh, learning algorithm you, you already trained it or something like that you can choose here in your, in your case it's a new one you gotta write some name here and plus plus button then you gonna he's going to present you with some options this option is when you have the avatar the face good helmet for facial mocap. In my case, I'm not using that. I'm using a simple cell phone camera, so I'm using the outer one. Go to create a project. Then your screen will show up. You just have to press the auto track. It's gonna search the image. You just wait a little until it gets to the end. And you can play to see what's the result of, of the automatic track. You can choose the other parts to see the eye, the brow and the mouth tracking, how it is. And that's fine. That's not an awesome one, but it's okay. You can fine tune it if you want. So after the tracking, you go to the you can save this file for further adjustment, but in this video, we're going to focus only on having the animation done. So you have to choose export retargeter. It's going to create a file called a retargeter. Let me go to the correct folder. And you put to save, it's going to hang a little the screen might get that waiting signal that's no problem we can finish sometimes it takes a while this video is very small so it won't take much finish it now you did the track you can go to the to apply the movement on the mesh but in this case, I'm going to show uh, how to get a mesh using AutoFace from Avatary. This software, he creates a lot of meshes. You can input a mesh, a base mesh, and create the shape keys, the deformation for the face, for your mesh. In this case, I'm not going to add a new mesh. I added in the past these two. But it comes with two ready pre-build. You can see the mesh here. It's going to be this one. And you can download the shapes, the blend shapes for the mesh. You have to choose a folder. In my case, I'll create a folder. Mesh. And save there. It's going to create 
52 files with the blend shapes which in Blender we call shape keys. It's created, so now we can close this software. This we can close too. And now we go to Blender. We're gonna install the add-on I develop, develop it. It's here, sub rig. By this time, it has only the avatar mesh importer those meshes we just exported but we plan to add new functions later so to import the mesh to create the shape keys based on those 52 meshes and to create a rig for them to use with a battery retargeter we must press import go to the folder we exported the mesh and just choose the folder and press import data. It's loading all the meshes and creating a single mesh with the deformations and bones to drive those deformations. It shouldn't take long. So here is the mesh. It's a single mesh with an armature. If you take a look at the mesh, you can see all the shape keys created here. You can take a look at them if you want. And you can see that it's got this purple tone. It means it has a driver and the driver is in the armature. The armature created is below the mesh. So I like to bring it to the side. I'll scale a little bit. And here, what you have. By this time I, I couldn't make a better interface, but it's divided like this. Let me put in pose mode. This middle part is the brow control. You can see the the names here, brow, outer, brow, inner, all these ones are brow controller. These ones are the eye controllers, the left and the right. This one is the, let me see, is the nose, those two is the nose. Most of, of this one is the mouth, most of the controllers are the mouth. This one is the cheek, cheek, and the rest is the mouth and those ones below uh, they are the jaw controllers so we have this file ready we can test the rig you can see that it's moving his brow the mouth okay so we have this ready we must save this file i'm gonna save as um, we must save it this because when we load the, the retargeter it doesn't load with the add-ons we have so the mesh is ready we, we tracked the video we exported the meshes we imported the meshes into a rig for blender and now we're gonna to use the retargeter Press here, I'm gonna use the 2.931. First time you load, you try to load the retargeter, he's going to ask about the the folder you have it. You just go get the folder, the path where the blender.exe it is. You place here and press this button. I loaded the 293, so we're going to this one. I'm going to load the sub rig we just saved and press face good here. The targeter. It's gonna load a new window. Oh, you can see we have no add-ons here. Now we're going to import the retargeter we created on the track software 
this file I'm gonna load this one it's gonna load those three parts the brow eye and mouth and now what we're going to do we're going to add a controller template or we can use a created one in this case we're going to add because oh sorry first we must go to the rig pose mode and select those parts the brow remember that i told it it, it was those in the middle we select them brow update we can go to the eye select the bones that correspond to the eyes not that the middle one just these ones update and mouth the rest are for the mouth update now we can save the controller it's created now we can go to the pose mode in the pose mode we're going to get the extremes of the movements but we must use a video as a reference to see the movements so what i suggest is to open a new window here we just have to get the, the corner and move to the side it's going to create a new window then you change to video sequencer sequencer preview sometimes you can drag the video and it works it's not working for me i don't know why but so we can go shift a add a movie we go to the folder we have our video and load it in my case you can see it's rotated so we can rotate it selecting the strip with the video open the properties transform rotation in my case minus 90 i can scale a little bit and go a little bit down that's fine so using the video as a reference we can choose the correct places to to move the bones we are going to start in a base position with no facial expression so in the zero with this face expression is equivalent of this face expression so i'll move to the brow and add a pose moving nothing oh by the way it's interesting to set all the extremes and then move the bones so let's gonna do this i place the first frame you can see here now we're going to choose another extreme pose an extreme pose for the brow you can see here we've got one extreme pose i'm gonna update and search another one another one here update no more extreme poses now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna move the bones to make this mesh equivalent to the facial expression on the video it's okay here i'm gonna move to the next keyframe you can see the right eyebrow is a little bit more up so i'll get this one I'll raise it a little, you can see it's moving, raise it. And this one I'll raise a little bit, just a little. Press update. Now we're going to the last one, which is, you can see it's moving, it's more extreme. So this one, I'm going to select both and move up all the way up can move this a little bit down to be more similar to the video and update now we're going to the eyes in the eyes let's do the same thing on zero update search for another extreme in this case it's the eyes closed update and nothing big 
let's go to the mouth same thing zero we update zero update let's choose let's search for an extreme here is an extreme let's add this one that's weird it's not showing here but it seems it got the the keyframe so let's move as the video so i gotta open the mouth the mouth open it's around here jaw open not this one no it's it's this one jaw open i would like to use the let me see the dimple right and dimple left It's not the best, but okay. Update, and we go to the next one, which is this one. Little open and update. Now we have the brow, the eye, and the mouth set, the keyframes, and we should press start. So it's gonna create the animation that you can play now. You can see it's it can be much better if you spend the time to to perfect it. So that's that's it and we'll see you next time.